everybody! Today I am going to be doing a haul. I am doing this because I have done a lot of shopping. Like a lot. Also, my hair is... I've just cut it and it's in the process. Right, it looks really patchy and a bit rubbish. I'm gonna re-dye it like tomorrow or the next day just so it's not as patchy. So don't judge the crap hair. I'm just gonna crack straight on because I've got a lot. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this. It's a gingham crop top and it's from New Look. It was 10 pounds, well 9.99, and then I got a student discount, so I think it was like nine pounds, whatever it is, the percentage thing. The next gingham thing are these, and I have worn them, so they're like still, they haven't got the tag in or anything. And these from Primark, and they were, I believe, 13 pounds, I think. They're really cute, they're just like, um, because I'm really tall, they're like ankle grazers on me, which is good because I saw some in Topshop that I like that were ankle grazers anyway. So I think these are actually meant to be normal jeans, but because I'm so tall, they're like ankle grazers on me. So yeah, like those. Next, it's this, and this is a like peplum lace top thing. It was in the tall range of Topshop, 22. This was £22 without the student discount and with it was £2.20 off £22, which I can't even bother to work out. I'm very bad at maths. This next thing I'm not that sure about just because I'm not sure about the way it looks on me because it looks really, it kind of looks like, like a maternity top. Yeah, I really like the top of it but it's when it's on it like pushes out here <laughs> and it looks I can't even describe it. Look, just looks really wide, so not very sure about it. On but off and on the hanger, I love it. And it was from Forever 21 and it was £10.50, so that's pretty cheap. Mixed emotions about that one. Okay, the next thing. I've got like four, three of the same top. No, four of the same top in different colours. First one is this one. This is like a crop top with high neck and strappy straps. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of like a Brandy Melville top, but obviously it's Miss Selfridge, so it's more, what's the word? Accessible for me, because there's only one Brandy Melville and it's in London, so. Um, and it was eight pounds. And then again, I got a student discount, so I think it was like seven pounds something. And I also got it in gray. Ah, ah. Grey, and I also got it in black. The next one is pretty much the same top, but it's not from the Selfridge, it's from H&M. And it's bright pink, but it's got like a strappy back, which I thought was really nice and different. Yeah, so I like that, and that was, oh, I've taken the tag out, but I think it was £10, 9.99. The next one I've got, and I actually got this today. I love it. From Berkshire. Berkshire, is that how you say it? No, it's Bershka. <laughs> Berkshire. It's from Bershka. Um, and it's got like a crocheted bottom and I love crochet things. Anything crochet, I am for. And that was 9 99 But the thing I found with Bershka is that they do really small sizes. Like, I tried on a large pair of shorts and it was like getting... I couldn't even get into them, so... So just be aware of that when you go in there. Okay, I'm going to move on to online shopping. So that was with like high street shops. First thing I got, I got this a while ago now and I've worn it like three times, but I love it so I'm going to show it to you anyways. It's this. <laughs> a bit risque and a bit PVC and a bit questionable. It's from Misguided and it's just a skirt. Well, I don't even know what kind of skirt. It's not quite bodycon because it doesn't go like... It's not like so tight that everything's on show. It kind of, it's like in between a skater skirt and a bodycon skirt. But I love it. I can't, I think that was $17.99. But again, they do student discount. The next thing I got is this two piece, the top. And it's just got daisies on it. And it's a crop top. And it's very light and 
this, whatever this is called. And then I got the matching sh sh skirt, skirt, short, skirt things. Um, and I love skirts because they um, are like a dream for when you're going out because they don't show anything if you fall over on your face, which is what happens a lot on a night out. Love me a skirt. Um, it's also got the same print on it obviously because it's a two piece and it looks really nice together or with separate things. So next online store is boohoo.com and I love boohoo. I probably get the majority of my clothes from boohoo to be honest. I got this, just like a crop t-shirt. I'm pretty sure everyone's got one of these. Which would look nice with a skirt or my skirt. I also don't know the price of these but I think it was a four pounds. Or maybe six. Oh god. And then I got the exact same one in grey because me being me I have to get the same thing in every colour. If you hadn't already noticed. I think that's it for Boohoo. I'm going to move on to swimwear because it's summer soon. Have I been out of focus this whole time? Oh my Christ, that's annoying. The first one I got is this one. And it's from Primark. And it was £4 for the top and for the bottoms, which is a bag. This is the top, it's just like a bandeau top, is that what it's called? I think it is. And then it's got like a detachable strap, so you can either have it as a halter, ooh, have it as a halter, <laughs> or just without and just have it like that, so that's handy. And these are the bottoms. Ooh. The bottoms are just like normal bikini bottoms, which are good, but they're a little bit tight, so... I hate how they do like, they don't do mix and match so you have to get like one size top and one size bottom which is really annoying for people who are different sizes on top and bottom like me. And the next bikini I got was from Warehouse and I never really go into Warehouse, um, I don't know why it's just not ever on my list of shops to go into but I saw this in the display, like the window display and instantly fell in love because I'm obsessed with paisley. If you haven't already noticed, my bed covers paisley as well, so it's got a bit of an obsession. So this is it. It's basically the same style as the one before. It's like a bandeau, but it's got a tie back instead of a clip, which is good because you can adjust. And it's got the halter straps, which are also... The halter straps are also detachable, so that is good. These are the bottoms, just simply... Simply? Simple again, just like your average bikini bottom. Yep, love the design on those. Very summer. Can't wait to wear them. I just want to say sorry about the lighting because it's like 8pm so the sun is like going to set soon. So I'm not sure whether that's going to be like an issue on camera. So yeah, sorry if it gets too dark but that's because it's dark outside. Now I'm going to move on to shoes but I am not a shoe person at all. Clothes are my thing. <laughs> and like handbags are some other people's things and shoes are some people's things and clothes are some people's things my thing is clothes and like beauty products so yeah shoes aren't really my thing and I kind of stick to my converse and my like white Primark pumps <laughs> recently I've actually bought quite a few different kind of pairs of shoes which is surprising for me some people are going to be like no <laughs> but jelly shoes so many people hate them and I can't believe it I can't believe that they hate them for me jelly shoes are just like the smell of them is just my childhood I used to wear them constantly when I was a child and it reminds me of like well these ones not so much but like in the bottom when you used to get like stones stuck in your jelly shoes they used to have like squares on the bottom and they used to get like pebbles stuck in them uh, Good times. These were from Misguided and I can't remember, I think they were £10. But I know they do them in Primark for four because I got these! <laughs> Which are the same but sparkly and they've got a little bit different front. But these were £4 and these are from Primark so I think I like these better because they're sparkly. And I think I had like a pair exactly like this when I was younger. Or were they pink? Can't remember, I just love the smell. Is that weird that I love the smell of jelly shoes? The next pair of shoes I got are kind of wintry, but I love them anyway. So I just saw them when I had just, you know when you see something and you're like, right, they're my next purchase. I need to get those one day soon. 
and I got them and they are these and these are from H&M as you can tell I've got pretty big feet because <laughs> I'm a size 7 because I'm like really tall so but these are actually a six and a half I think I'm not sure whether I made a mistake because these have been rubbing my feet to shreds. I've got the worst blisters ever wearing these for a day. Maybe I just need to break into them, but they hurt so bad when I had the blisters and I got them on both feet. So I don't know whether they were too small or what, but here's the other one. Yeah, but I really like them anyway, so I'm gonna try and wear them again someday soon. But yeah, these were $29.99, so that's quite expensive, but they're good and solid and they will last a while and they'll never really go out of fashion. They remind me of like Timberland boots. Next, there's another controversial shoe. Uh, my housemates hate this shoe and they always go on about my bad sense of fashion, but I think they just need to catch up with the trends really. These are from New Look and they're like these kinds of shoes. I don't even know what the style is, like chunky sandal? Uh, oh god, how much were these? I don't even... Oh, $24.99. Love, 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 love. And the final pair of shoes are these. And no, these are not real Converse, although they look exactly like real Converse, but without the, like, all-star sign in the middle. These are from Blue Ink. And my friend works in Blue Ink, so he managed to get me 50% off. Do not tell anyone. I got them for like 4 50 so they would be £9 usually, which is a bargain. And I only got these because I wear flats like this on a night out with like a skirt and a top. I wear these with like little frilly socks. I wanted a pair of Converse that looks like Converse but wouldn't get ruined on a night out because I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but when you go on a night out your shoes just come back especially white shoes they just come back covered in like mud I'm like where is the mud on the dance floor I'm gonna move on to beauty slash makeup products the first things I'm gonna show are fake eyelashes I'm gonna start with these ones because these are just the normal like natural eyelure eyelure uh, oh, they're handmade, I didn't know that. Uh, 107 Natural Lashes. I also got these ones because they were on 3 for 2 at one point in boots. I only ever get fake eyelashes when they're on like offer because they're so expensive normally and they don't last that long. So, But these are the new Eyelore packaging ones. And I think it's so cute. They've got like retro packaging and it's awesome. Got the one, the volume one in number 100. And then I got the exaggerate one in number 143 and the definition one in 121. The next thing I got, sh um, what's this called again? I'll tell you, flat iron protection shine mist, so heat defense spray. Because I've got ombre hair now, I just get really paranoid about using heat defense stuff. I use it like five different ones. Um, but this is the one that I bought most recently because it was like three for two in boots. That's why I love boots because they always do three for two like across everything. So, ah, dropped it. Like this, it smells nice. I think, does it? I don't even know. I'm just assuming. That was bad of me. Oof. It smells like hairspray. It smells nice. This is green tea, bleh, green tea extract. Can't go wrong with green tea. It's like the best medicine for everything. Shh. The next thing that I got was this Mega Plush Volume Express. They spelled volume wrong. That, that must have been intentional. So I got this and I love it because it's such a thick brush and that means that that's just good for everybody. So the next thing I got was this lip liner. This is number 50 called Tiramisu and it's by Rimmel and I've used it quite a lot already. I got a bit excited, obviously. Uh, it's just like the closest colour I could get to my actual lip colour. Now, the next two lipsticks I'm not that sure about. I was looking for like a nude lipstick, and this one is a bit more pinky nude. I think it's collection in Superdrug. 13 Satin Bow. And I got this one, which is Kate Moss Rimmel. That's not the one I wanted to show. My bad, I got the wrong lipstick. <laughs> this is the one I wanted to show. This is a nude. Oh, it doesn't have a name. Just called 113. But this one, 
oh my god, I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't stay on my lip. Like, when I put, shall I show? I always get really annoyed when people don't show the lipstick on camera. It's just like, really spaced out and weird. Can you see? I don't even know if you can, but basically, when you put it on, it's all like, it doesn't, it's not like pigmented enough, it's just kind of like, blah. That was a really bad description. <laughs> this lipstick, however, is a dream. And it's Max Yash. Not the best name, <laughs> obvious reasons. But it's like a really kind of dark, it looks really dark in this light, but it's a nude. But it's like a matte lipstick and I love it. The next two things are these and they're from Topshop and they are the matte nail varnishes. Now, I am obsessed with the colours of these. I got it in Rendezvous, which is like a pastel purple and Heartbreaker, which is a pastel pink. And I love the colours, but they're not that matte. They are matte, like when you put them on, they are matte, but they're not obviously matte, is that a thing? They're still a little bit shiny. So what I do is I put like another matte top coat on top, which I use is Rimmel. Rimmel top matte coat I put on top and that makes the matte really matte, which is, I say matte like 50 times in the last minute. Yeah. Not that matte, but I love the colours and I think it was worth it. They were like six pounds or five pounds, I think. I've only got three things left, so bear with. First one is this. I don't know if anyone knows what this is, but it's Revitalash. It's a serum you put on your eyelashes like before you go to bed or before you put your makeup on. It was made by a guy or a doctor who whose wife had cancer and so she lost her eyelashes and he made it for her so they would grow back faster, which is really cute. So this is the stuff and it comes like this and it comes with a little brush. And I've been putting it on now for about a week and honestly I, I've already noticed a difference that my eyelashes are a bit thicker. They don't look that much longer yet but I'm sure that with time they will look a lot longer because I've heard amazing things about this. This is the most expensive thing on the whole, in the whole haul and it was £45 I think. Now if you want to get it off Amazon it's more expensive but I got mine off eBay and it was like 45 I think. So yeah. But it's good and it will work, I'm very confident in it. The last two things are similar and the first is Dove Summer Glow Nourishing Lotion which I am using as a moisturiser before I go to bed. I've been using it for like three days but I like the fact that it's gradual and it works really well but like it does what it says, it's a subtle gradual self tanner that's exactly what it does, it's subtle and gradual and it tans. So yeah, love this and it's on half price in Superdrug I believe at the moment for like £2.45 so that's how much that is and I got the one in medium to dark skin uh, but you can also get it in fair to medium skin so nice one dove. And the next one is Rimmel's Sun Shimmer Instant Tan and this is just a wash off fake tan. This was £5 on offer in Superdrug as well. But it just because I'm going to be going out a lot in the next week because we've all finished uni now and we're going to celebrate a party. So I got that to make me look tanned. And that is it. That's everything that I've bought in the last two months I think. So I know it seems like a lot but Actually, I don't really have a reason. I just love to shop and it's a problem. Leave a comment saying what was your favourite item and I will be doing more videos regularly, so be sure to subscribe as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Fact number one. My name is Rosie. I live in Brighton in the UK. I just finished three years of university yesterday.